After a sudden retrenchment, Simon made a positive change and got qualified with the Australian Institute of Fitness. You could be eligible for state and federal funding. Hit fitness.edu.au or call 1300 669 Doc, you join us in the recovery room and some pretty significant news to bring us today. Alex Brown, we saw him go down with that injury. Can you bring us the latest? Yeah, he's very unlucky. His leg got caught under and uh, under his body and he's uh, torn his cruciate, which I guess you're aware of, and his medial ligament. Good news is he's done really nothing else inside his knee as far as damaging the surface or the cartilages, so in the long term he's not going to get the arthritic problems. But... Unfortunately, he needs a full reconstruction. Uh, is, does that mean 12 months? Well, it means nine months. Uh, um, he's too young for a Lars and uh, um, nine months is realistic. So next season, he'll do a full pre-season again. It, it's sort of a big blow for him in the point in his career he's at. What's his mood been like? Oh, well, it, he's obviously devastated. Um, He's a terrific kid, Alex. He's, uh, he's had a wonderful pre-season. He did have a major um, hamstring tendon tear, which cost him. But this season, he hasn't missed a beat. He's been full of life and uh, looking like he was going to really have a big chance of cracking the big time. What's the process from here? He obviously has, has the surgery, and then where does it go from there? Well, he'll see uh, Julian Fowler tomorrow and... Uh, might let the knee settle down for a week uh, or he might do him early next week um, and then uh, just has a little quiet time and then right into rehab and uh, progress over the next six months. You, you would have probably seen a lot of these knees in your time. Uh, how, how do you feel that players react generally to this rehab? It's obviously a long process. Uh, well, the results are extremely good now. Uh, they've always been good since the 80s when they did proper reconstructions. Um, it's pretty hard on them, you know. It's uh, it's it's hard on them mentally. They're not they feel not part of it. But uh, uh, hopefully next season he's only a kid. He's a terrific kid. He's cheeky. He gives me a hard time. I like that. Um, he'll be back. He'll be back, and uh, he'll play well, and he'll have a good knee. But uh, not this year. On some more positive news, out of out of that game, he was the only only major injury. Uh, yeah, we didn't really have anyone else, just the usual corkies, a couple of cramps and that's it. So uh, one devastating for Alex and uh, the rest of it was OK. Tom Bell Chambers, we just saw him walking around. Uh, what's the latest on him? Uh, Tommy's going really well. He saw his surgeon, uh, David Young, on uh, uh, Monday and he'll be starting on the Ultra G, uh, Ultra G uh, in the next week or so and hopefully out on the track uh, not to play, but at the start of the season and hopefully back around uh, after four or five games. Ready? thanks for the update. Thanks. For 140 years, we've honoured it. Kept it strong for the next generation. We've celebrated its glory and worn it with pride. But we don't own it, we share it. We're all part of its legend. It crosses our hearts and unites us all, and now more than ever. It's time to don the sash.